Hello, Nancy Drew fans. It's Jamie here, and I am here um, with my second walkthrough for Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen. You may have seen my first walkthrough, which was for the game Alibi and Ashes of the same series. And so now I'm back again for the newest game, which just came out about a week ago. Um, it's actually like the second time I'm recording this because um, YouTube was being stupid and lied to me and told me I can upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes, but it lied because it wouldn't take my video. So I'm going to make this video shorter than 15 minutes so it can be uploaded. Alright, without further ado, let's start the new game. Amateur mode. Uh, I'm probably going to make another video later on with just the master suit solutions, but for now we're just going to do amateur and watch the opening sequence. So that was John Boyle, who you're job shadowing. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit. Now we're going to explore. This is Nancy's um, bunk area. Yum, Coco Kringle. Cool. Take the dictionary. Be helpful. Uh, this is a book on how to read hieroglyphs. It should be very helpful. Later on in the game. And um, these are a picture of Rachel Vaughn, who in, was an avid Nancy Drew fan and um, very sadly died at the age of 17 um, due to a kidney cancer. Um, so um, her interactive partnered with Make-A-Wish Foundation and so there are various pictures of her throughout the game and this game is dedicated to her so if you're wondering who that is that is that um very sad story but it's a nice tribute to her all right this is a book by professor hotchkiss who we saw in nancy drew um treasurer in the royal tower and also uh, legend of the crystal skull so she appears in a lot of games you can read all about the lost queens of egypt and phone numbers there. We'll call her a little bit later. And of course, she can't get our name right. Yeah, she can never get our name right. Never remembers our name. It's really funny. Um, Stay out of there. Oh, okay then. Um, Whoa, you cannot go back there. I 
Nancy? Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming authority for the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team, which is just you. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a snipe that's thousands of years old? I answer that point. No, you cannot. Is that necessary? Do we really need someone in charge? Yes, it is. But it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. Bye-bye. Later. Alright, so that was Lily for you. She's another person working on the site. Now we can look through his things, because I guess she's okay with that now. <laughs> There's a lighter that will come in handy. This is a letter from our good old friend Franklin Rose at Beach Hill Museum from um, Nancy Drew, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Just a note about how great of a person Nancy is and how awesome a worker she is. These are Professor Boyle's notes that he wanted us to look at. Part of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. Ooh, uh oh. That's a problem. Okay, um, checking on our time here. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna quickly play this game. Can we play? Yes. The goal is to get all of your pieces off the board first. When a token reaches the last square, it's removed from the board. To move, throw the sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. And throw it too. What does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. If you throw a one, four, or five, move a token and then throw the sticks again. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. I go with three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token's starting position. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board, each with their own name and design. The square with the onk is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird. Even if the throw would have moved them past it, they can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the onk. The last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Let's start a game. You can go first. Alrighty, so let's quickly play this game. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but... No fair. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Hopefully that works out. Oh, nice. Oh, hey guys, um, so this is Jamie, and I just wanted to let you know that, um, my video actually was under, or sorry, a little bit over 15 minutes. Um, so that's why I had to cut out a little bit of this part. So you'll see during this game that it just kind of randomly um, skips over a part of me playing and goes straight to some other part. But hopefully, um, yeah, right there actually. That's actually what just happened right there. Um, so you'll see it just skipped a little part. Not a big deal. Um, I apologize. The video just was a few seconds over by about 20 seconds or so. So um, I just needed to edit and cut it down somewhere. And I figured this game part um, wasn't crucial because I didn't want to edit out a conversation or anything. Um, so thanks for watching and I apologize for that little oh, yeah, um, slip up there. Yeah. So if, um, enjoy the rest. There are a bunch of two or more of these pieces are together then you can't switch spots. Sorry, I feel weird talking over myself, annoying, but, but thanks. I use that rule all the time, so I shouldn't get annoyed that she's using it. So the goal is to get all of your pieces um, off the off the board by all landing them on this last square over here. And she's doing 
strangely well. Normally when I play this game, she like is really stupid and doesn't do well at all. Really? Why can't we do anything? Okay, that absolutely... Absolutely nothing. It was three, but I guess it's two pieces to make a block. Um, can't do that. Of course we can't. Sorry guys, I'm normally better at this That's game, cold, and it normally goes by faster. I'm not gonna lie. Oops, sorry. Can't count. I'm so gonna win. Whatever you do, don't land on this square, because it will send you all the way back to here if you land here. one and that is where I will end this video oops 